Hi, welcome to my new video on financial instability. I'm going to follow a paper, a very famous paper by Bernanke and Gertler from 1989. So in this paper, uh, the authors uh, look at the link between financial markets and the real economy. They argue that when there is financial instability, the entrepreneurs who want to undertake investment projects have low uh, net worth. That means they have uh, low wealth. And thus, since they have very little of their own wealth, they have to rely heavily on borrowing. Now, the fact that they're going to borrow a lot is going to mean that uh, they're going to have to be monitored a lot, which is usually known as agency, agency costs. So the lenders are going to want to monitor this uh, entrepreneurs. And this is going to be so costly that it's going to lower uh, the amount of projects that get undertaken and it's going to lower investment and thus um, it is going to affect the real economy by lowering this investment. But this also means that when there are booms, the net worth of the entrepreneurs, their wealth, is, uh, is increasing. So they're able to put more of their own capital into their projects. So... Uh, they have to borrow less and the agency costs of money monitoring then go down and thus investment projects undertaking overall go up, amplifying the effects of, um, of the booms. This mechanism by which booms get amplified um, when they interact with financial markets is usually known as the financial accelerator. So let's take a look at the model of Bernanke and Gertler to see how they model this. Um, they have a two-type um, OLG model with some entrepreneurs and uh, also some savers. Entrepreneurs will borrow money and there's uh, this fraction of them and then savers will lend money to the entrepreneurs and this uh, is the fraction of them. So, entrepreneurs will be indexed by this W. Think of W as a, uh, you know, as a variable that it is uniform between 0 and 1, but it's like um, describing the type of entrepreneur you are. We're going to uh, de define XW as the, uh, the costs of investment that these entrepreneurs are going to have, and this is going to be an increasing function on, on this W. So, Entrepreneurs that um, have higher values will face um, higher costs. That means that if you plot, you know, the, the, the distribution of entrepreneurs out there by type, uh, you're going to see that the people with low low value are going to be the low cost entrepreneurs. Uh, they're going to be um, very efficient, and then there's going to be the the type uh, of entrepreneurs that have high uh, w, the high cost entrepreneurs, because they're very inefficient. Now, output in this economy, which is just a function of, uh, of capital and um, productivity, can go into three things. It can be consumed, or it can be um, invested into the projects of the entrepreneurs, um, and they will convert um, this capital uh, into capital in the next period, and into storage, which will return um, a rate R fixed that is um, greater than 1. So you can either consume or invest either in, in the investment projects of the entrepreneurs or uh, store your money. Okay, so let's look at the entrepreneurs. What they do is basically they take this output, they have, you know, some type, so they have assigned some costs of producing, sorry, of investing. So basically, if they want to undertake um, a project, and each one of them has one project they can undertake, they have to pay this fixed cost. Folks with uh, higher W will have to pay more, uh, more costs. And then, after one period, they will produce um, capital. Now, each one of them is going to invest in one project, and um, uh, this project has a certain expected um, production in the in the next period. So, like, when you're sitting from T to T plus 1, and you're looking um, 
at the different state of, states of the world in the next period, you're going to realize that you know things can go uh, well, and um, you can get a really high um, capital in the next period, or things can go really bad, and you can get a really low um, capital in the next period. So you know this is just the probability of each thing happening, and this is the amount of capital that would happen in that scenario. So the expected value is just um, you add them up weighted times the probability of them happening. So, you know, entrepreneurs are sitting here at T uh, saying, look, if I invest, I'm going to have to pay this cost, and then uh, I expect to get this, this amount of capital for each unit of investment I make in the future. Now, if these entrepreneurs don't have enough money to carry out their investments alone, they're going to have to ask for outside lending. The problem is that entrepreneurs are the only ones who are going to see what value of capital ends up being realized. You know, either is it going to be good or is it going to be bad. Um, lenders cannot actually see this um, this capital that is realized. So the agency costs are basically due to the fact that entrepreneurs have the incentives to um, say that they, you know, have had a really bad year and that capital ended up being really low when they really had a good year so that they can get to keep a little extra, that they don't pay back um, that much to the, to the lender, so they cheat. Now, in order to prevent this from happening, uh, lenders will want to audit, um, you know, an amount HC of projects, which will cost... Um, this 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 amount, meaning in the end, the amount of capital that we'll see next period is you know the expected uh, value of capital today, times the number of investment projects that have been undertaken. Remember that um, each entrepreneur had one project to invest to, um, so this is the total amount of uh, uh, investment that is made, the total number of entrepreneurs that actually invest, but. Uh, there's going to be, because of the agency costs, there are going to be um, a number of these projects that are audited, and uh, each one of them is going to um, cost this amount to audit. So basically, uh, they reduce the amount of uh, of investment in the economy. This, ag this is the way agency costs reduce um, the amount of in investment in the economy um, because of, of this um, auditing, auditing costs.